Like, it's the best. Contact your local cable company to get in the circle. Coming up on Mountain News at 530, we'll have some tips on how to stay safe during severe weather as some strong storms roll in. And a group of volunteers from Kentucky will be heading to Poland to help refugees from Ukraine. Strong to severe thunderstorms continue to push into the mountains this afternoon and evening. I've got the very latest breakdown on the way next at 530. Dedicated to southern and eastern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News at 530. Good evening, I'm Steve Hensley. Strong to severe storms are developing in parts of our region and those could continue for the next few hours. We have some warnings out. Meteorologist Evan Hatter has the latest on this severe weather alert day. Evan. Well, as of about 50 seconds ago, we're down to one warning, but it takes in a lot of folks in the viewing area at this hour. And we're going to continue to watch as an area of thunderstorms pushes through the mountains. Outside right now to our camera out at the Mountain Parkway at Slade, you see the raindrops on the camera lens. Temperatures plummeting there right now as we continue to see our temperatures behind this front. A little while ago, London Corbin Airport was at 73. We're now at, at 75, excuse me, we're now at 61. So we are continuing to see very cold air push in. Just two counties in our area under a tornado watch, Campbell and Claiborne in East Tennessee. That's where the greatest threat will lie for any rotating thunderstorms, mainly along and south of the Tennessee border, but it's something we'll keep, be keeping an eye on. There's our severe thunderstorm warning. I'll zoom into it right now. We're watching essentially, we call it a bow echo, pushing through portions of the area right along 421 between McKee and Manchester right now. Uh, with uh, likely some heavy rain, some hail, and uh, the potential for strong winds. You see this warning includes uh, portions of Perry County, Breathitt County, Northern Leslie County, Northern Clay County, most of Owsley County, a small portion of Lee County as well, and of course parts of Jackson County at this time. This storm has the potential to produce winds in excess of 60 miles per hour, especially where you see that Boeing segment near Burning Springs. That is where the potential will be the greatest for strong to severe thunderstorm, or at least winds strong to severe. Burning Springs really within the next minute. Oneida by 543, Buckhorn by 552, and if it holds together into the hazard area past 6 o'clock. So we'll be keeping an eye on this thunderstorm as it pushes to the east. That severe thunderstorm warning, by the way, goes until 6 o'clock. I'll have the very latest on when these storms get out of here and when we could start to see some flurries in the forecast. I'll have those details coming up in just a moment. Steve? All right. Crazy forecast. Thank you very much, Evan. Whether it's a notification on your phone or an alarm from your television or radio, when severe weather strikes, it's important to stay calm and move quickly, and that's easy with a plan in place. It's best to stay in a sturdy structure and put as many walls between you and the outside as you can. No mobile home is safe during a tornado, and just like a car, can get picked up and tossed around. If you're driving, it's best to pull over and find a sturdy structure like a parking garage stairwell or even a beer cooler in a gas station. The important thing to remember is take shelter now. You can't outrun a tornado. Uh, that is not the place to get out your cell phone and wait for, wait for the tornado to come. If you know that severe weather is possible, it's important to have your cell phone fully charged and you can have the WIMT weather app send you updates as well. A mother and son seriously hurt in a Garrett County fire are still hospitalized. Kayla and her son Aiden Hensley were in their camper when it caught fire last Friday. Both are in critical condition in two different hospitals. When Garrett County police officers got to 10 year old Aiden, they say he was unconscious. Today, his family says he's still in critical condition and has serious injuries. His mother is in Cincinnati being treated for burns covering more than 70% of her body. Doctors cannot give a prognosis, but they are both making some progress. A group of volunteers from Kentucky will soon be heading overseas to Poland. Kentucky Baptist Relief will be there to help refugees from Ukraine. WYMT's Phil Pendleton has more on what the Kentuckians will be doing for the next several months. Baptist Relief volunteers have traveled to many disaster zones. I'm giving you the water, the food will come right up there. From right here in Kentucky to the hurricane-ravaged Gulf Coast. This is completely different. 
Ron Crow is managing a crew of relief workers about to leave for Poland. Preparing meals, caring for children, uh, caring for, that's mainly women and children. There are some men there and we'll be caring for them. And then just general house cleaning and, and uh, care that would go with any kind of shelter situation. The first crew, three men and three women, will leave Easter Sunday and will stay a week and will then be replaced by other crews from other states when the deployment is over. Dozens of people from all over Kentucky will have helped out. Building that trust and building that relationship and ultimately the goal is to share with them the love of Jesus Christ. And what we're hearing is that they're very open uh, to learning and hearing about Jesus. Relief workers are known for their hard physical work such as cleaning out mud from flooded homes or clearing storm debris. This deployment could be more taxing emotionally, seeing firsthand what life has been like for these refugees. Um, they're scared, they're um, very worried, but uh, this is going to be an opportunity just for just to love on them and care for them. So yeah, it's going to be very difficult. They say the main thing is to just listen to them and to be there for them. Phil Pendleton, WYMT Mountain News. The shelter in Poland is a Baptist church where 40 to 80 refugees are living. The U.S., along with G7 countries and European allies, announced new sanctions against Russia. These sanctions target President Putin's adult children, Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov's wife and daughter, and Russian Security Council officials. The Biden administration is also sanctioning Russia's largest financial institution, and the president is signing an executive order banning new investment in Russia. House Democrats unleashed on oil executives today, blaming the industry for skyrocketing oil and gas prices. AAA says the national average for a gallon of gas is still more than $4 a gallon. The Biden administration has ordered the release of oil from the U.S. stockpile to help ease prices that spiked following Russia's invasion of Ukraine. Oil executives testified they have no control over the markets. We do not control the market price of crude oil or natural gas nor of refined products like gasoline and diesel fuel. And we have no tolerance for price gouging. Lawmakers also put the spotlight on oil industry profits, nearly $77 billion for the six companies testifying. The CDC is no longer predicting new COVID-19 hospitalizations will continue their decline in the coming weeks, but the agency still expects COVID deaths to continue to fall. The latest CDC estimates come amid a warning of another major surge later this year. CBS's Elise Preston reports from New York. The United States could see another major wave of COVID-19 this fall and winter. The FDA's vaccine chief said Wednesday there are at least three factors putting us at risk. The virus, which has shown its ability to change over time, uh, to evade our uh, immune system, will have had at least six more months uh, to further evolve. Dr. Peter Marks cited waning vaccine protection and the onset of colder weather as other factors. The warning comes amid an FDA discussion about strategy for future booster shot campaigns. We're not saying which population necessarily needs to be boosted uh, come next fall winter. I think that's for the committee to discuss. The CDC says a subvariant of Omicron called BA.2 is now the dominant strain in the United States. In the area around Syracuse, New York, where cases have been rising for weeks, the uptick isn't holding back travel plans. I'm comfortable. I'm fully vaccinated. I'm boosted. With the government lifting most COVID restrictions, health experts say it's up to each individual to assess their own personal risk. The only people we can ultimately trust are ourselves so. and knowing that we can do the right thing. We can get vaccinated. If we have symptoms, we can get tested. Here on Broadway, positive COVID tests have sidelined actor Matthew Broderick in the revival of Plaza Suite, as well as Daniel Craig in a new production of Macbeth. In California, some downward trends have stalled with San Francisco logging the highest rate of new infections. But health experts say cases are still way lower than the height of the winter surge. Elise Preston, CBS News, New York. The Bay Area is reporting about 700 new cases a day. That's a fraction of the peak of more than 18,000 daily cases during the winter surge but still much higher than the 200 daily cases reported last summer. 
The next leader of the U.S. Coast Guard could be a woman. President Joe Biden has nominated Admiral Linda Fagan to serve as its next commandant. If she's confirmed, she'd be the first woman to lead a U.S. armed service. Fagan has served on all seven continents and has spent 36 years in the Coast Guard service. She's the number two in charge right now. Her nomination will be under consideration by the Senate Committee on Commerce, Science and Transportation, but she's getting support from both sides of the aisle. Three of the largest credit reporting agencies in the United States recently announced they are dropping medical debt collections. And with the Fed raising interest rates, experts say now is the perfect time to work on your credit score to secure lower interest rates when it comes to loans, credit cards, and mortgages. Jen Sullivan has three things one expert recommends you do right now to improve your score. Where's your credit score at? It could rise in a few months after credit reporting agencies Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion announced starting July 1st, they'll remove nearly 70% of medical debt that went to collections from consumer credit reports once it's been paid off. And typically that would still be a derogatory account, but even settled uh, medical debts are going to be removed from credit reports. Experts say when debt is placed on your credit report, it could make it harder to get access to credit or loans. And with the Fed increasing interest rates, it could pay off to look for other ways to raise your credit score in order to keep borrowing costs down. David Mahalik from Credit Vergio has three tips to help you improve your credit score this year. Number one, pay down credit card debt. It's the second largest section of our credit score. If you have high credit card balances, if you start leveraging credit card debt a little too high, it's not at all uncommon to see scores drop 40, 50, 80 points or even more. Number two, Get added as an authorized user on a credit card from a family member or friend. That way, their great credit history will show up on your credit report and potentially raise your number. And number three, put payments on auto pay. Create an account for all your bills to pay online and set up for minimum payment so that you don't forget. You don't want to see that big drop in credit score because you got a 30 day late on a credit card and you forgot because uh, you had it paid off and there was an annual fee. For today's Consumer Watch, I'm Jen Sullivan. And here's a bonus tip. Experts recommend you monitor your credit. You can go to annualcreditreport.com. Coming up on Mountain News at 530, experts say if you're going to sell your home this spring, now's the time to get things in order. And once our storms push out of the region, we have much cooler weather on the way for the end of the week. I've got those details coming up. WIMT News app offers alerts on breaking stories as they happen, customized to the